Welcome to Staying Relevant, the podcast with Sam Thompson and Peter James Weeks. So since we are now professional and this is series two, I have to give a warning that there is explicit content and a little bit of alcohol consumption within the podcast. Mainly it's Sam who keeps f- swearing because uh, he's got a potty mouth. Hey, posh of you there. Uh, potty hey. mouth. Uh, Remember, as well as listening, you can watch us now too. The full video is released on YouTube every Friday due to popular demand by the fans. And uh, the audio is out every Monday. Oh, also, um, before we start, Pete is in quite a good mood today because we came into the studio and Pete was fast asleep on the studio floor after a bender last night. Let me just tell you, you know know when alcoholics get that really red end of their nose? (laughs) You'll get your starting to get that burst blood vessel vibe. Rosy. You're starting to get that bulb Rouge. <laughs> that bulbous blood vesseled nose. <laughs> well, I think like a like that I mean that is an actual sign. And do you know what's bad is I can't I actually saw that in the mirror the other day. I thought it's very red. <laughs> it's and I couldn't work out why. And I think it is. It's yeah. yeah. He was passed out on the studio floor and you're like, I don't know whether this is funny or he's got a problem. <laughs> Well, it's a little bit of both, isn't it? I mean, this is the second week in the new studio, so I'm glad it went down with the new bosses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really well. The bosses of the entire studio also saw Pete face down, um, and then I had to throw water on him like you would a, a criminal in the Wild West. And he jumped up and thought someone was attacking him and started swinging. So it was a really good start to the podcast. On the plus side, I feel refreshed. He feels refreshed. He has a beer already in hand, which I is great. Refreshed. And so uh, good. So, so let, let's kick it off. What have you been up to this week, Pete, other than getting drunk and passing out on floors? What have I been up to? I've, I've been drunk, yes, um, through the majority of it. I've been to the RSPCA. I've been to an animal sanctuary this week. You're the weirdest contrast ever. Um, so I went to an animal sanctuary. Your strip clubs in the day. No, your strip clubs in the night and animal sanctuaries in the day. Yeah. It's very, it's an odd mix. Why? Because, like... I like animals and tits. Well, I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't understand what, what the issue is. No, the food is why I go to strip clubs. Very good food at Um No, yeah, I went and played with some some little baby animals and loved it. There was a sausage dog called Bear. I met two old Yorkies who are looking for a home um, at Danaher Animal Sanctuary, if anyone would like to give them a home. They're both 14. One of them is blind and deaf, so he just sort of totters around and walks into things. But he's very cute. Really he's 14 cute. though, isn't he? Yes. He's got like, what, another six months? And so is his missus, but he was really big excited to be out there. So is his missus? Yeah, there's two The dog's got a, a wife? Yeah, George and Pepper. Sorry, I'm so confused. So the dog that you saw that is 14 has a wife? Who's also 14, and unfortunately... Did they get married? Their owner died. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if they're just... Oh, you're just a... calling it his missus? Well, yeah, because they're obviously together, aren't they? And they're 14? Yeah. Um, we well, might as well just wait it out. But it got to the point, you know... What? Might as well just wait it out. Well, it was one thing, so I did pick him up and then he sneezed and I thought like, he might have died and yeah. it was a bit awkward. <laughs> and he turned into dust. back down and sort of went... Ah, ah, and I thought, oh God, it's happening now. Yeah. And I was just at the process of doing the video saying, they're both looking for a home. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just the one. <laughs> Um, but no, they are looking for a home. So if anyone would like to adopt them, then please do. Pete's um, Pete's dogs are looking for an eye uh, because They're his second his second dog is well, now blind. <laughs> In one eye, he's not blind. He yet. is. Pete now has two dogs with one eye. It, mate, if you didn't do so much charity work, you would be wondering whether you're right to own pets. They're both... Hold on, hold on. Can we just get... One was rescued, right? She didn't have the eye when I rescued her because... What about the other one? Because people were horrible. He's just got old. How old is he? He's fucking nine now, yeah. which for a French bulldog is a fair age, and he's got a, he's got cataracts. What's that? It's what happens when you get old like that. I can't... I didn't I didn't go, oh, we have some have some cataracts and caused it. <laughs> like, he's just... Naturally, that's just what happens. So, Pete... There's not much I can do about that, So, is Pete is now going to insert... <laughs> he's got, Pete's now going to install a glass eye. <laughs> to no, I'm not. Stop telling people that I'm kind of buy, uh, like I'm looking on Amazon for glass eyes for my for my fucking dog, like like as if I can't find one, I might just plop a marble in and hope for the best. <laughs> you can't tell people that Pete's new neighbour's dog is telling everyone that I'm blinding my own dogs. <laughs> this is called, your dog's new name is Cyclops. <laughs> wow. So 
So basically, you done fuck all. You just got <laughs> you got pissed and went and went and picked up a four year old dog and nearly killed it. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically that's, that's basically my week. Tell us about yours. Who have you interviewed this week? Well, I had Mo Gilligan on this <laughs> on this week, and uh, it felt really good to get finally get him into the studio. And oh yeah, because you've been working on that for ages, haven't you? <laughs> You're only three weeks into your radio show, but it's finally good. So good to finally get you in. Um, you know, we've been trying for uh, at least three or four hours now, um, and it's great that you could be here. You literally sound like you've been doing this 20 years. Like, you sound like, like I feel like you think you're Ken Bruce. Who's that? Why is everyone just side? <laughs> Wait, you're in, right? You're in the radio game. Yeah. Ken Bruce is probably one of the most legendary radio broadcasters ever, and he's just left radio. Oh, he's just been signed by our company. Oh, yeah, he's greatest hits. And then, so he's just joined your own company. Yeah, yeah, Kenny. Oh, we call him Kenny in the game. Do you? Brucey, yeah. Brucey? Yeah, no, that was Forsyth and he's dead. <laughs> oh, oh. How many posts, sir? Did you get that? Like, that's Bruce what? Forsyth. Sorry. Bruce Forsyth. Sorry. That's an impression of Bruce Forsyth. What? What's that? Do that down the camera now. Do that. That's Bruce Forsyth. Do How many posts, sir? Like, Why are you doing the hand thing? Because that's what he does. He's got a big jaw. What he did. What he do the hand thing? Well, that's what he did. He's like, How many posts, sir? That's what you do. I can't do. hear. But no one can hear what you're saying. But that's how he speaks. But what are you trying? That's quite a good Bruce Forsyth. It sounds impression. like you're saying Harris the Postman. How many posts? Then? How many posts? Yeah, it's what you said. Higher or lower? Higher or lower? Dollies get deeded or whatever it used to be. I can't remember what the phrase was. <laughs> what the fuck that, is going that's on? Bruce, that's what he sounds like, is it not? Thank you. Uh, the audience agree. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Do you know what I do remember? I've got a check for you. I've got a check for you. I've got a check. <laughs> Is that, is that just what you used to get yearly from the trust fund? Is that what your personal bank used to say? I've got a check for you. No. I've got, <laughs> you used to go, oh, lovely. I don't need to cash that one because I'm fucking cake. No. I've got, I got a check for you, but I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to you. But Who are you doing? You. I can't remember what his name is. That's Chris Tarrant. Chris Tarrant. Who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? It's not even the theme, dude. Is it not? <laughs> Shit. Just, what, are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> But you know when he, you know when he goes, you know, you know he goes, I got, I got a check for you. I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to you, but I, I do have a check for you. Where's he from? I don't know. <laughs> what, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. That's Chris Tarrant. Uh, and, oh, I've got something fucking cool to tell you. Well, that's what I've asked. Please. Okay, okay. So, interview Mo Gilligan. We've done that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it wasn't that cool in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He invited me to his Brits after party. Oh! Excellent. You're going to enjoy this. So I go... I'm not going to any arse parties. I've been invited. He goes, you can come. Oh, you wait. So, <laughs> so hold on. So he didn't really. He sort of went, oh, mate, you can come to mine if you want. Yeah, that, he yeah. didn't want you to come. No, yeah. Well, no, he did. because he went, no, you went, invited yourself. No, I didn't. He invited me. Oh, I just haven't got any after parties. That's, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Oh, you're fucking... No, and then, and then, and then, that's not even the worst bit. Then I go, he goes, come to mine, mate. I throw mine every time. And I went, really, can I? And he went, yeah, yeah, you can. And I'm like, how will I know? And I was like, should I just get in touch with your representatives? And he, he was like, he was like, well, you can do that if you want. I went, but what if I don't get through to them? And he was like, well, do you know? What? And I went, can I have your number? <laughs> he said no. You're not going to the party. He said no. And he went, do you know what you can do? And I'll get the address out on my phone, and you can photo the address on um, the address of the artifact on my phone. Went through all those lengths to not swap numbers. <laughs> You're not going to. The party. I have. I've got the address. And I said, what happens if I get there and I'm not on the list? And he went, don't worry, just call for me. And I was like, okay. So I'm going to get there. And I'm going to be like, hi, um, Mo Gilligan. And I'm going to be like, yes, it is his party. Yes, he's in there, yeah. yeah. Can I come in? No. Nope. Mo Gilligan sent me. Oh, what are you going to be doing on Brits Night? I'm going to wank in a pot noodle, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I really want? It's like, I really want us to go. I want us to like, host the red carpet. Do you think we're ever going to get there? No, I think you will. I think you're... Do you know what's funny is actually when we do this thing, and it's, it's become quite sad now, which is probably why I'm drinking more than I normally do. <laughs> um, but when we started this podcast about Sam Edelman, neither of us had anything that interesting to do. Um, and now it's got to the point where it, we are a couple of weeks in, and both of mine have been revolving around sort of, I got drunk and did something for charity. And each week yours has been, well, I interviewed Rita Aurora. I was with Mo Gilligan talking about the after party of the Brits. I fucking interviewed Brad Pitt. Miles Teller told me to fuck... 
I have nothing to say. And as it's turned out, I actually need a new co-host because I'm, I'm doing a podcast called Staying Relevant because I'm still trying. You've become relevant. No. And it's quite sad because out of, out of, out of the both of us, if people were listening to us at the beginning... No one would have thought it would have been you. I know. How the, one person. How the I don't know how it's happened. How the tables have turned. And actually, we're only into week two of the second series. And I've turned into that person that, that could have been me. <laughs> and it's quite depressing. That could have been me. I actually dread now doing the podcast for what have you been up to this week? Because I have nothing to say other than got a bit drunk and had a wank. That's basically my week. And then I know you're going to come out with, well, I made friends with Rita Ora, or I did this. And it's embarrassing. Do you know what? I just, I don't think I want to do it. No, <laughs> do you know what, Joy? It's that I still have aspirations of me and you coming out because we're superstars but the sad now. thing is it's going to be you and Roman Kemp. <laughs> no, no, it's and not. And I'll be there. Because Roman, be the Roman Kemp still doesn't know who I am. I'll be the guy drunk at the side, just going, Sam, do you remember when we when we had that show that <laughs> failed and then the podcast that failed and then everything that we tried to do? And you were like, someone get rid of him. <laughs> Who's I don't that? know him. I don't he's, know. he's now lost You see the teeth. guy with the really, re really red, bulbous nose <laughs> <laughs> holding a tinny. Oh, I'll tell you what's fucking cool. Hold the phone, get the press out. Because Maya Jammer follows me now. I'd, yeah, I, I noticed after the first week. Um, yeah. Obviously, I took the piece because she didn't follow you. Yeah. Um, but I did notice that it is a lot to do with the fact that whenever you are after Sun or doing anything, Love Island, you tag her in a lot of things. Yeah, well, I have. So yeah. you're obviously coming up quite a bit on her thing. And I feel like she now thinks, oh, this is all good. I'm going to have to follow him. But it does make me... It's sort of like... I feel like she's done it while she works with you. I'll tell you why it was, she told me. And Love Island's on, and I feel like when it finishes, you're probably getting the unfollow. It's, it's worse than that, actually. She goes, I did a story on my Instagram going, oh, what, Maya Jammer? Like, do I call her Maya Jammer or just Maya? Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, she's like- MJ. Or MJ. Well, we're not at that stage yet. This is the point. And I'm like, I, she, like, I don't know whether to like, do I go in with Maya or is that too we're like informal? Do I still call her Maya well, Jammer? What else were you going to call her, Miss Jammer? No, I was going to call Maya Jammer. To a face, but then apparently that's weird. Well, you should have done what you did with Brad Pitt and gone with Mr. Pitt. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Miss Jammer. Because that seemed to work so well for Mr. Pitt, didn't it? Well, no. Anyway, I did this story and she basically, she went, she went, oh, I followed you on Instagram because I had loads of people messaging me being like, Sam Thompson doesn't know what to call you. And I was like, that is the most bum out reason to it's follow not, it's not someone. because we've been working together now for a couple of weeks and I've really enjoyed spending time with you. It's because she just got pissed off being tagged in shit. I know. You? Yeah. And then I asked her for a photo at the end of, at the end of um, After Sun. And uh, it was basically, the, you're going to love this. I basically, kind of, we come off stage um, to rapturous applause and uh, that's not true <laughs> and we go we, we slink off stage slow clap <laughs> and uh, and and everyone's getting like everyone's getting congratulated backstage and on um, what well Maya's getting congratulated backstage <laughs> and her in India my also, my other panel member um, is, we, they're like in a conversation I've gone so full with my other panel well I didn't know what to say like because we're not ho we're not co-hosts like my other person basically just sits on the sofa and talks at Maya for five minutes and anyway, basically, she's talking to Maya. They're having a really good chat. And so I tried to get involved. So I, like, came in in between both of them. And I was like, and I said, well, you know that you do that laughing? like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I basically came Standard in. Standard Sam. I came in laughing, and it, but it wasn't a laughing matter, whatever they were talking about. So it completely changed the tone. And it went really quiet. And I went, can I get a photo with both of you? And the worst thing is, they carried on talking as, as if I didn't even exist. <laughs> and then my agent, who was there, had to um, had to do a sly photo of me, like next, to them, like, because they didn't know that I was getting a photo. It was pretty tough. But I think they are going to start liking me soon. Like it's not they don't like me. I think they're going to start noticing me soon. Wow, oh. that was a lot. <laughs> I did see. You made an effort, though, in what you wore. <laughs> yeah. Shirt, green shirt? Yeah. Not very Sam, <laughs> no. I would say. Zara, buy that for you? I got a stylist. You got a stylist. <laughs> got a because I thought to myself, because I see the still from it, and I thought, oh, that's not a very Sam shirt. I've got that shirt. Have you? No. From All Saints. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that shirt. and Silk, very soft on the skin. Yeah, I, I will never wear it again now. <laughs> but I did think to myself, fuck me. 
I thought Zara might have been trying to style you for this, but uh, you've got a stylist. So, so my agency. So I just want to point out on staying relevant, Sam, uh, Sam's quest or how we started this of people that have just not made it. Sam's now got a stylist. <laughs> I don't think you can be in this podcast. <laughs> Why? Because you've got a stylist. Basically, they called me up and they went, "Look, this is quite a big thing." Like ITV. Uh, you know, they're putting faith in you right now. Like, you've you've only ever really done stupid videos on Instagram, so you yeah. sort of... And you're not trusted enough to dress yourself. Yeah, well, this is the point they went, mate, no offence, you, you don't dress very well. And I was like, oh, that's savage. And they were literally like, we need to, like, make you, like, TV, like, ready. And so and so, I was like, well, what do you mean? They went, well, Jordan North's just gone and done a, done a show, and he's got a stylist. So basically, there's loads of clothes he doesn't want to wear. <laughs> So, oh, so they've got hand me downs. <laughs> so oh, basically, me. I've got I've got Jordan North stylist hand me downs. <laughs> it looks great though. I've got like flares. And I think they're flares. They're like, like 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 what you've got jogging bottoms. They're not joggers. They're just wide leg trousers. Wide leg tra- These boot are just trousers. Yeah, bootlegs. They're not bootlegs. <laughs> I've got cordroids. Wow. I mean, I, there's a lot of things coming out. I mean, you've really changed. This year is a, just a, a very different year. Anyway, um, so now that we've done that and the opening conversation was only supposed to be 10 minutes and we're now three and a half hours in. So we've actually had, well, we've had, because we've got loads of fans now. Oh, stop saying that. What do you mean? Because it's, it's, we haven't got loads of fans. We have. We, um, mate, we're superstars. I think we're going to LA. Do you? Yeah. Listen, I'm just working towards a stylist. That's that's all I want out of life. <laughs> hey, I so all of our fans have messaged in. I was listening to your podcast when I was traveling to work yesterday. As you boys will know, a hair transplant is the perfect way to stay relevant. I would also hate for anything to happen to Pete's gorgeous locks. So I can assure you, you'll be in the safest of hands. Please do let me know if you'd like any further info. So a couple of things here. Wow. Couldn't give a fuck about your hair. <laughs> Worried about mine. Appreciate that. Thank you ever so much. I mean, we do need to have it done for two different reasons. Yeah, go on. I know what you're going to say. Basically, me and Pete were talking earlier about if we adopted or if we had a biological kid somehow. Well, it wouldn't be a biological kid, would it? Obviously. And so our kid is a bio- biological How kid. How do you think your stylist would dress to you? If- we're not talking about stylists anymore, Pete. Stop with the stylist chat. I'm really insecure about it. You should be. Anyway. And I know what else is coming up on this podcast and it's not going well for you today. Mo- oh, no. Moving on. So basically, if we had a biological... If we had a child, the characteristics that we wouldn't want the, char- the, the, the kids to have from each of us, and the main one would be our hairlines. <laughs> Mine, because I have what used to be a forehead and is now a five head, and my hairline is starting at the crown. And you- show them. Show them. Show the camera. And show them. And you- Put your beanie back. And you, because you have a sunroof. You no longer have a... Cra- it's bald. You are bald a as a fucking coot. You're going to look like... What's a coot? What's a coot? It's like a little duck. You, you are... <laughs> you are going to end up with a, a fryer tuck. <laughs> it's going to be... Yeah, you know, when you go for a haircut, what do you want just to trim around the sides? Because there's fuck all on top. Nothing on top. Like a boiled egg. Yeah, basically. Show them yours. And I'm going to end up, if anyone, you won't get this reference, uh, but anyone listening who is of a certain age, I'm going to look like Terry Nutkins. <laughs> who the fuck is that? Really wild show. His finger got bitten off by an osser. Hey. Anyway, move on. So we've got Georgina on the line. She's not here. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> she's not here, mate. Sorry, it's just my radio kicking mate, in. This isn't, <laughs> mate. So it's just my, just my training. This isn't GMTV or fucking... So we've got Georgina on the line. Tell us what you think. This isn't the Jeremy Vine show, mate. All right? This is... It's just written down. Okay. Do you think this is going well? I think, I think it's do. one of the worst. <laughs> do you think... I thought we would have learned by now. I think it's progressively getting worse. Um, I think you use this as a way to get out all of your shit bits so that when you actually go and do your real jobs, you do quite well in them because all the shit bits you've, you've left for me here... So we've got a listener correspondence. Um, Georgina. Georgina. Georgina, yes. Was it Georgina? No, it's Georgina. Georgina. It's a really why. common, oh, just normal name. That is really, really weird, yeah. Yeah, it's a really normal name. Georgina. Yeah. So um, some listener correspondence from Georgina. She goes, hello, I want to tell you about my friend who is absolutely besotted with Pete. 
She was telling me about how she had a raunchy dream about her and Pete, was making very loud slash strange noises in her sleep, and her husband questioned her about it the morning after. She had to pretend that her husband, that the dream included him, not Pete Wicks, but the reality was very different. Thanks, Pete, for making my friend a very happy girl after one night and one night only, although she would accept more if offered. So what she's really saying is she would happily cheat on our fella. Which is great. <laughs> um, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm here for that. I do have something for you. I haven't asked it. Ask away. Sam, what have you done this week to stay relevant? Uh, well, I've got something for you. I oh, know. Yeah, you told me before I asked the question. And oh. also, I sat with you before we did the podcast and just ran through what you're going to go through. So I know. But tell everyone else. So um, I got asked to, um, to, to make an appearance in a very well... <laughs> Very well known uh, show. But this is not as Sam Thompson. This was as an actor. I was asked to appear on a on a famous soap. Yes, one that's been running a long time. Um, but anyway, we're, we're not allowed to say the name. Basically, but not not, say, not like full time. I don't. Think. Well, this is what I'm I'm slightly confused about, right? So obviously, you are now jack of all trades. You're a radio DJ. You know, I'm a TV presenter. I'm a TikTok star. I'm an influencer. Uh, you know, X reality TV. Um, you know, I do this a podcaster. Um, have you now added actor to the bio? Because it's not very often that someone who hasn't shown an interest in being an actor, they randomly just pluck out names and go, I "Wonder if he wants to be in it." Unless someone's shown an interest in potentially doing some acting. And this is the bit. Oh, they just asked me to be in it. I think randomly. They did. I yeah, they just randomly asked me. Yeah, yeah, just randomly. Randomly asked you to be in it. Yeah. You haven't shown any interest in being an actor or put out some feelers. I don't believe so. Because we said no. <laughs> we said no because, because well, it's it's the worst soap you could be. I thought it was going to be sick. I said yes, actually. But did the you say no? He said no. Well did, you, well, did you say no based on. I wanted to do it. So let's let's do a little role play then, all right? All right, fine. I'd have so, to. Go on. If you're going to come in then, big storyline, you are the new guy. Um, because, you know, obviously, all right, hit you've me. got a girlfriend, you've got a stylist now, you're a good looking guy. So you'll come in as the. You're, you're, you'll be studly good fuck. That's going to be your... Studly good fuck. That, that is your new character's studly name. Studly good And you're coming fuck. in... Yeah, you're coming in to nick someone else's bird. Your name's Studly good fuck, all right? I've got a fella. He's gone to get drinks. Your first opening scene is to come in, impress me, and basically stick it on me. So this is it. So right. I'm not paying attention. Come over. All right. Introduce yourself. I'm Studley. Second. Give me a second. Oh, is it method acting? Have you got to get in? Well, no. Just, just, just give me a sec. Do you need to do any warm-ups? Shut up. Imagine you're a tree. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? I'm looking at you. But why have you startled yourself coming over? I haven't. I've walked in. Oh, well, just rapidly? Yeah. You ran across? Yeah, no. I've just walked in. Just All let right. me do my All thing. Right, let me fly. Sorry. Now you've made it weird, though. So I'm going to walk in now. Yeah. Was that, was, is that artistic? Are you just putting a bit Ready? on it? <laughs> ah. Sorry. So your first, your first. I'm panicking. Your first Don't introduction. You make me I'm just saying your first introduction in the site would be. Ah. <laughs> and I'm remember, remember. Now. Oh, I'm studly good fuck. Ah. <laughs> ah. What's your name? What's, what's, your, what's your name? Ah. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Jemima. Jemima, right. <laughs> what was that weird way? I'm opening the door. All oh, right, Ready? you don't have to. There's right, no I'm door in the room. I'm in All right, you're in the room. Right. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't know. We'll take that bit out. All right, okay, yeah. yeah. Right. Ready? It's lucky it's not fucking live, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop it. Um. Hi, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why am I fucking laughing? What are you doing? I'm being serious. Sorry, I just want to point out, and this is the big Even thing. Even now you're making me swear. Sam, your character's name yeah. is Studley Goodfuck. Oh, right. Right? That gives you an idea of how I want you to be. This oh, is okay. what your character is going to be. I'm good he's, a, he's a stud, yeah. and he's a good fuck. So, <laughs> or, hi. Not Studley okay. Goodfuck vibes. Right. Right. Give right. me Studley Goodfuck. Let me do it then. Well, I'm trying. You've been, you... Stop. All right. All right. Jemima. Yes. Well, you don't know me, by the way, because right, right. this is your first scene. Okay. Hello. How are you today? 
I'm good today. Okay, yeah, sweet. Cool. Do you want any cordial with that? Cordial? Yeah. You're asking me if I want, you want cordial? juice? Yeah. No, thank you. Well, that's just vodka and soda. Yeah, that's what I drink. <laughs> well, can I get you another one? What, are you asking to buy the whole drink or just the cordial? Just the whole drink. A, a drink, Jemima. No, I've, my boyfriend's just over there. So anyone that might be listening to this, and I don't know why you fucking would be for a start, especially after today's horrendous episode, Sammy's looking for work. He's a, he's currently an out-of-work actor. <laughs> he's in his bio. The in-demand podcaster. He, well, he's an in-demand radio host, um, but an out-of-work actor. And what sort of role would you really like? What's your dream role? Well, I played a cop once in the in acting class. A cop? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Um, freeze! <laughs> Get down. Do you like the breathing in between freeze and get down? No. Well, never. It's, that's the kind of stuff you got. And to what do. did that add to the role? So basically, the cop is he's nervous, but he's a, he's got adrenaline. This is his first ever bust. Yeah. You do yours. I'm not an actor, mate. Freeze. Get down. <laughs> he's got a gun. It's a bit shaky. He's got a gun. What's Pete been doing in his plimp soles, <laughs> in his neckerchief? To stay relevant. Well, I, I, like I said earlier, I'm starting to, to, to dread this question now every week because every week you've got these really interesting stories about all the celebrities you've met. And to be honest with you, I, I tried to just get some content to break up the ads on Instagram this week. Um, so I went out on the bike. And... Oh, I saw that. I saw that. This is brilliant. Is this the one with this is the photo you took last night? Yeah, well, in the end, it was having to be a selfie. I was going to try and do some proper content like them people that like you lot. Do. Who's you lot? We well, you know all the fucking people that, that live for Instagram. So I was going to try and do it properly. What does so, that mean? Well, you know, like your, your whole life, everything's got to be on Instagram. You know, like, it's, you know, this is what I do and it's the coolest content I can make, you know. So I thought I'll try and do this a bit cool. And I, on the bike, beautiful day, sun shining. I propped the phone up. I stopped at the side of the road. I knew you would propped it up. I fucking knew it. I even commented on your picture. It was a lovely road. And I thought that that's a beautiful background there. And they'll have me driving off into the sunset. <clears throat> it was very windy. So I had to put the phone on a fence. And every time I'd get a little bit, it would fall down. So about an hour, I spent going up and down the same road, just propping the phone up and getting off and putting it on and getting off and putting it on to the point where actually, I think I sent in, in, in the little group for, for the podcast a video of me running back to my bike after propping the phone up. By the time I got on the bike and didn't even get a chance to drive back round again, it had fallen off. So I had to get back off the bike and then walk back just to try and get content. And in the end, I got so fucked up with it, I um, I just took a selfie. I've seen it. Um, I'm actually on your page now. Talk us through the captions of your posts. This is something I've always been fascinated by. We all deal with things in different ways. Yeah. Find your release and do what makes you happy. Blue skies and muddy rides make me happy, but yeah. why I, have I, you? I, but why have you done a selfie with that with that caption? Because it's a carousel, I think you call it. There's other pictures of my day. But I don't understand. I don't understand why you. Well, it was supposed to be that would have been for me riding the bike, but obviously I couldn't get the content because it was windy and the phone kept falling off the fence. Pete really enjoys the very, very old calendar shoots that he used to do. This one looks from about six years ago. I'll tell you when it's from. Where's show it from? Me. Well, show me. Oh, no, that's actually, the, that was recent. No, well, wheeling myself out of retirement and then quickly rolling myself back in. He's in a singlet. Anyway, let's move on from that because this is completely off topic. So this is the sidebar of shame. Don't sidebar of shame. shame. Don't do that. What was your one then? Sidebar of shame, innit? No, do a jingle. Come on. It's the sidebar of shame. I don't, it's the sidebar of shame. Ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. It's the sidebar of shame. Yeehaw. Right, so next up is the sidebar of shame, which is my favourite bit, because we get to take the piss out of people being fucking idiots, basically. So let's start with Molly May. Well, she just had a baby. Can't mark her off. No, great. Also, beautiful kid, beautiful family. She's done amazingly. Uh, people have waited, not knowing what the baby's going to be called, been in suspense. I knew what it was before, before it came out, just saying. Did you? Yeah, Zara it, told me. Zara woke me up to tell me. And how did Zara know? Because uh, Molly messaged her and told her. Oh, what, she went, what, just randomly? By the way, I'm naming my... No, my... I think they were in conversation. Right. So, um, so people have waited. And do you know what? This is, this is a, a real sign of, of, of what our, 
um, what's the word? Social culture. Word? Yeah, culture. Sorry, that's the word. Yeah, what our culture is like nowadays is that <laughs> Molly May's baby name was trending above. Matt Hancock getting grilled by Susanna Reid brilliantly on GM fucking Good Morning Britain or whatever it is. Her baby name, so actually it went number one. And by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, a baby, she's named it Bambi. Great name. Love it. I'm here for it. Do you not like Bambi as a name? It's not that like I don't like it. I just think I've got a real issue with people trying to make their baby's trying name. Trying to go out there. Just why? Call it Dave. But it would like, well, if she has a brother, we're well, going to call it Fumper. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just... Why do they call it Thumper? What? Bambi. Thumper? Yes. I don't know what you mean. The Disney, the film Bambi, the d little deer. Yes, it's called Bambi. Yes. And there was a character, a little rabbit called... Oh, right, okay, I feel you. Yeah. As soon as, yeah, as soon as I heard she called it Bambi, I, I literally just thought, oh dear. <laughs> You are such a Karen. You're such a Karen. That was the most that was the most Karen-y thing I've ever heard in my life. What? I just thought to myself, oh dear. Why, why did you think oh dear? You haven't got it, have you? No. What? Oh, because oh dear. Bambi, dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh my fuck god. Me. Yeah, I like that. Well, oh fuck that me. Was good. Jesus Christ. Um anyway. So, yes, that's the first one. Listen, well done. Congratulations and all that crap. But fucking what a dopey name. I really want to... I think it's a beautiful name, by the way. No, you don't. I do. I think it's you're a beautiful so, name. Because she's Zara's friend. Yeah, you just I, don't want to upset anyone. I'd you're love to meet fucking, her. I'd love to meet Molly, soul, Molly May. You are, are genuinely... You say my soul? No, I said your soul. You're just one of them people. You're such a fucking... No, you don't. And I know you don't. Because I know as soon as we got off air, you're going to go, that is fucking silly. <laughs> All right, but no, you know, I just think it's a wonderful name. You know, you know, much love to Molly and Tommy. Fucking Pratt. What a fuck! You don't even know him. But, but I want to. But I want to know them. I'd love to go for dinner. This is a call to Molly May and Tommy Fury. Let's go for brunch. Oh, backtrack from dinner. Pretty sharp. Yeah, yeah, no, no, what, no, no. what if we don't get on? I can get <laughs> away from brunch. No, they're not going to do dinner. I don't think we'll start at brunch. But Molly and Zara know each other apparently. I'd love to meet her. Well, I mean, you could have had an opportunity because I seem to remember from one of the um, from when we had that TV show that was cancelled that we don't go on about. Um, didn't she slide in your DMs before she was on Love Island? No, we did because we did it on a whole show, mate, <laughs> and you showed everyone. <laughs> this was about ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, like years ago, yeah. um, and obviously that was probably awkward now because Zara and her. Well, no, things. I actually replied, and then she didn't reply to me. Oh yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was the story. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that's a fucking just a ridiculous... I just think it's, the people go out of their way. Like, what is Gwyneth Paltrow's kid called? Fucking Apple or something? Well, look... Tiger, I, Tiger Blade Monsoon or some I, shit. Tiger just Blade. Just fucking... Just, like, what's wrong with Jenny? I think that it's Bambi's a beautiful name, Molly, and uh, if you ever want to meet up, have a brunch, you know, double date, I'm in. Was, Why are you looking at me like that? It, you just make me feel a little bit violent. Well, maybe... Do you know what? You could do with a bit of brown nosing every now and then. You know? I just think it's completely unnecessary. Just completely unnecessary. Why? I, I, because I, it's just so unbelievably fake. Right, let's do the outro. Let's do the outro. Here okay. we go. Thank you for listening to Staying Relevant with Pete Wicks and Sam Thompson. I'll go one, you go one. I'm, I wasn't going to read it off the thing. I was just going to... Okay, you go say subscribe. If for some magical reason you've enjoyed it or want to listen again, then please follow and subscribe. Uh, we are available on every podcast platform here we are also remember remember to review because we're doing quite well on reviews you see and you've got all these huge podcasts that you've got like double down the ceo and all that kind of stuff you've got really got an issue with it well, no, because i want to be one i want to be number one and uh and basically like reviews apparently are really bit are quite a big deal so even if we're shit no, oh no just, actually don't review if we're shit but like just to say something please no just only review if it's good yeah if it's shit keep it to yourself fuck off but do review and leave some stars, because stars are good, I think, as well. 
to be fair. Stars, that's just rating it. Yeah, so rate that's when it. you say rate and review. Yeah, rate and yeah. review. You don't just leave stars. They're not just giving us a sprinkling of stars here and there, yeah. are they? You fucking prat. So give us a star and subscribe to us on YouTube. So just uh, saying relevant. You still don't know. You're, you're having to read it off. Yeah. So subscribe to us on YouTube. All you have to do just is... Just search Staying Relevant Podcast on YouTube. Yeah. And you will find the little YouTube channel where you can see this melt talking about fuck all every week. And, and you doing what? Also talking about fuck all every week. Out every Friday. See you next time. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, let's go. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. That was fucking brilliant.